Hello beautiful people and welcome back to the LD world. I hope you're all having an amazing day. I just came out of the shower and that is why my hair is still wet. Today's video is going to be 10 things that I didn't expect when joining a black family. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you're not already, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time we upload, which is every other day. But without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. The first thing I noticed really early on after meeting his family was how much black people popped up in the conversation. It's definitely not a bad thing. It's just sometimes when they did something and I looked at them like, what are you doing? They're like, yeah, black people. Or when we're watching a movie and they're like, oh, black people. And I'm like, why, why are we always talking about black people? Why is that always being brought up in the conversation? I'm fully aware of like, I don't have a lot of black people around me in Iceland, but we just never say, oh, white people, white people this, white people that, I don't know. So that's the first thing I noticed. We talk a lot about black people in his family. And I don't know the reason, let me know, but yeah, it's definitely not a bad thing. Don't take it as a bad thing. It's just, it's just in the conversation a lot. The second thing, I didn't know how important marriage is for them. It was brought up almost right away when I got there. They started questioning me in a good way. They were just asking me like, why do you want to marry him? Why do you think he's going to be a good husband? Questions and topics that my family would never ever bring up. They wouldn't even ask Lens, oh, do you want to marry Dua? It would, it would just never be brought up. So I definitely noticed how important that is to Lance's mom and dad. Um, and yeah, I kind of knew it. Lance told me about it so I could prepare myself for all the questions. <laughs> Number three is something I noticed right away. And that is how much, how much they cook, the amount of food. When they offer to cook breakfast for us, I would expect like, oh, scrambled eggs or I don't know, just, just a normal breakfast. No, they have scrambled eggs. They have grits, sausages. You have everything to choose from. And I'm like, okay, you just cook this whole thing just for one breakfast and it's not even like a special day. They, they just cook a lot. They cook a lot. And on Thanksgiving, I've never, ever seen so much food. I'm not complaining because I really love it. I'm just, Ooh. yeah. This leads me into my next point, which is number four. And that is, they don't clean, they deep clean every single day. So after you finish eating, you clean that table, you clean those dishes, you clean everything, you, you spray the whole area and you wipe it, yeah. They clean so much and they have a specific product, like cleaning product for, you know, the kitchen, the, the stove, the, the fridge, whatever, I don't know. They have 1000 cleaning products and they're always cleaning. Which leads me into number five. There is, in my family, there's no such day as cleaning day or storage day. But yeah, in their family, yeah. You know that on those days, you're not gonna do anything else, okay? You can just, you're busy the whole day, take the whole day. I'm sorry, my dad came home. But yeah, before I met his family, I didn't know what a cleaning day is. I didn't know what storage day is because in my house we just clean you know every now and then we wipe the tables we wipe this that we don't take like out a whole day to clean but they do it's a long day and yeah number six is how his mom takes care of the cooking like I saw his family just waiting around for his mom to cook and I always felt really bad. I was like, 
shouldn't we help? Shouldn't we cook one day? And they were always like, no, 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 she does it. And I was like, I'm in my car because I had to leave. So I'm going to finish the video here. Don't worry, I'm not in a rush. But number seven is they are so extra when it comes to everything. When I walk inside their house, the music is on, the lights are on in like the whole house. It doesn't matter if the room is empty. I want to turn off the light and Lance is like, no, 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 don't do it. I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, just, just leave it. They want it on. And I'm like, okay, the TV is on. The gospel music is on. Just everything is on. And whenever you visit them, you always feel alive. Like everything is just extra. I've never experienced that here in Iceland. Maybe that's the difference between Iceland and America, but not like black and white. But yeah, I, I thought I would include that in this video. They're so extra and I love it. Number eight is something that I never ever thought anyone would do. And that is driving four hours just to go to church. I mean, one way guys, one way. It's four hours back, it's an eight hour journey. Eight hours just to go to church, like, whoo. I don't know if I, uh, well, I would drive an hour, but that's about it. I don't know anyone that would do that here in Iceland because in four hours, you are on the other side of the island. And that is like a road trip for Icelandic people. So we would never do this. Um, I didn't think anyone would do this, but when I met them, I was like, I guess, this is just the norm here so let's just go with it but yeah they drive a long way to go to church and it's it's just not a problem for them it's literally just like yeah we've gone to church yeah it's, it's three hours away and i'm like i mean i i could be working i could but no 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 we're about to drive three hours let's just go number nine is something that let's just say that it's not in the icelandic culture and that is the man of the house or like i don't know it's it's very much like icelandic people are fighting for equality and if you would say someone is like the man of the house in iceland <laughs> ooh, ooh, you just don't do that so when i got there and that was like I guess like the culture and how they were raised and I'm not saying there's not equality when it comes to their family because there is um, but it's there are just certain things that the man should do and you know open the door and you know just be a gentleman but here in Iceland it's it's not like that so it was very different and I'm still getting used to it <laughs> And I think they're still getting used to me being so, you know, girl power, independent. I don't, I don't think they like it, but it's cool. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They, they love me, guys. Number 10. <laughs> I don't know how to word this, but the first time when I met them, I could see they're very, you know, they're very polite and they're religious and... I guess it was just my way of like looking at them. I didn't think they would do anything like inappropriate. But then one thing that I really didn't expect was them just throwing an inappropriate joke in the middle of us eating dinner together. Like, yeah, it was, I don't know. I just didn't expect it because I thought they were very, I just didn't think anything like that would come out of their mouth. So when it did, I was like, I just looked at Lance and I was like, oh my gosh, should I laugh? I kind of like, okay, I will laugh, but oh my gosh. Yeah, I just remember the moment. Ever since then, they do it every now and then and I just laugh. I just didn't expect it. It doesn't have anything to do with like them being black, but more like the first time I met them, I saw the type of um people they are and i didn't expect that coming from them that's all so when it happened <laughs> ooh, yeah so i think that's it for this video it's just 10 things that i didn't expect joining a black family or like american family whatever you want to say i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i really enjoyed making it <laughs> 
Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you're not already, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time we upload, which is every other day. We love you guys so much and we'll see you again, not tomorrow, but the day after. Bye! I can't get to the camera.